good afternoon folks this is mike from long island shaving thank you very much for joining me today for those that are new to the channel please uh, subscribe really appreciate you being here for those that have subscribed to my channel thank you very much it means a lot channel's growing which i'm happy to see sorry i haven't put out a video in a little bit but it's a little crazy with work but today's shave i have a great shave in store for you guys today uh, bluegrass muse um, it was featured on bbs live yesterday both mel and nate shaved with this yesterday uh, it's such an amazing scent. I had picked this up in early June. I've been using it for quite some time. This is a premium soap base, one of the most premium soap bases I have ever used. I recently did a review of Calabria recently, and you guys can look back and see that review. But this, I mean, even look at the label. I mean, you see the copper cup and the title, the kind of reflection of the label. Um, definitely very premium. Um, and I really do enjoy it. So this is a, this is a first installment of what Gentleman's Knot had put out. Um, and it was inspired by the Kentucky Bluegrass Mule Cocktail. For those of you that may or may not be familiar with that. Um, obviously, this was a special collaboration that they've been working on for some time. Um, it's, very li it's a lime-forward scented soap. As soon as you pick up um, and you take a smell off the puck. Uh, very um, very lime-forward. A lot of lime and essential oils that were put into this soap base. Uh, you definitely get some ginger and spice with this. It has some woodsy notes in the background. Uh, but just to kind of achieve this scent, uh, they had added, you know, as part of the spice, the coriander and the cardamom is in the background, along with the ginger and the lime, all mixed together to what makes this a perfect. Um, I actually love this so much that I'm going to consider picking up the EDP for both this and Calabria uh, real soon because I enjoy the scent so much. So... With that, so that's what we're going to be shaving with today. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, because this is what I consider a very luxurious shave. I'm going to bring back my Carbon CX++ plate. So that's what I'm going to be shaving with today. And I'm actually going to be using one of the Kai blades. I haven't used Kai blades in quite some time. So I'm going to shave with a Kai blade on this shave as well. Uh, so I have that. As far as the brush, I'm going with one of the Rockwell. I think it's the four. I'm not sure what the name I forgot. I'm going with the Rockwell aluminum handle uh, shave brush that I picked up not too long ago that I really enjoy. Got the Hendrix and Classics uh, and Company uh, shave bowl, which I absolutely love. And it builds an amazing lather, uh, especially with this brush. And I'm also, I also decided I'm going to stick with the synthetics. I have used some of the uh, Badger brushes that I have. And um, I have to say the lather that I build up with a synthetic, a really good synthetic brush is much more premium in my opinion than uh, some Badger brushes, but I'm sure it is different qualities, which I haven't got into. Uh, I do want to pick up a Trotter brush eventually. So uh, that will be my next big purchase. Uh, so with that, so I have the lather worked up. Of course, I have the matching splash to go with this to finish up the shave. Uh, so let's get right into this guys. Um, so I just want to kind of put together, let's see, I'm just going to wet the face real quick. Kind of get this thing moving. Just want to get this quick shave in today, this morning before I head out. Basically have about two days growth that I'm working with here. Wow, yeah, it does smell. You get that lime and ginger immediately. Like I had mentioned, this is very well blended. And as you can see, I mean, already an amazing lather just from the start. I didn't even work this in yet. Yeah, I've been, I mean, going with the rotation and kind of changing out the different razors each week. But I have to be honest. I miss my carbon when I'm not shaving with it. And I kind of, I'm like a week into using another razor. Kind of want to go back to my carbon. It's just the way it is. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way that have that razor. I think this will be a lather that I think Brandon would be proud of me for. What do you think? Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm even picking up the cardamom now a little bit on that. Yeah, I took this with me on vacation a couple weeks ago. And this is the only soap I had. And that was my first real experience with it. And I absolutely enjoyed it. I said to myself, hey, you know what? I got to pick up DDPs because I love this scent so much. So, again, it's available on the website. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend you guys consider picking it up. Yeah, this razor just definitely sings. That's what I love about it. I love the blade feel. Hope everybody enjoyed their week. I'm recording this on Friday morning. And I'm sure you guys hear that because this mows right, right through it. Yeah, great slickness for the soap. Yeah, I got a couple new razors coming into the den real soon that I'll, I'll share with you guys. And then I'm really looking forward to trying, but I will, uh, I'll do a separate re review on those when they come in. But it kind of goes along with what we all experience going down that rabbit hole. Never being satisfied with what you have and continue to see what, what's out there. Uh, but there's such so many amazing razors out there that I had the experience and opportunity to try. And there's a couple that I've had in mind and I'm waiting for. Right, going into pass two. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it to two passes today. Not going to go too crazy because I am using the uh, plus plus plate for all my carbon today. So that first pass took over, took actually most of it already. I mean, look, I mean, look at this base, as you can see, I mean, I know I can work this in more, but I'm kind of in a rush, but you can't get any better than this. And a lot of different scents were inspired to me by, you know, BBS Live and many within the community that put out some amazing content and reviews and uh, any considerations that I've had, you know, I went along with a lot of those recommendations and I'm so glad I did.
such an efficient shaver. It really is. And this wasn't my one of my first razors. I've used many before the for this. And I've always eyed this one and, and said, you know what? I want to get picked that one up and I slept on it for a little bit. And then one day I pulled the trigger and said, you know what, I'm picking it up. And I haven't turned back since. And it eliminated five or six different razors that I had used pretty regularly. But I just find myself wanting to grab this with every shave. If there is one razor I would say to recommend that you pick up and you'll never turn back, it is the Carbon CX, no question. For those of you that have watched some of my recent videos, I think you will know I'm a big fan of this razor. All right, I was going to do two passes, but what do you guys think? One more? Just one more quick pass. I think I'm gonna do that. Why not? Let's go for it. I'll go with a, an against the grain pass on the last one. All right, that's good enough. I will do an against the grain pass on the third. Melanate, you definitely, you guys definitely made me, uh, you influenced me to go with the shave today. I was looking to bring this one back soon, but after watching uh, last night's live, I figured, you know what? Perfect timing. I was missing my carbon. I was missing this shave. So here we go. Oh yeah, um, distilled water. It's a must. Totally agree with you, Mel. Great recommendation. I know you keep mentioning it, so I'll keep mentioning it. Because it's definitely true. For those of you that have tried, try the distilled water. finish up here sorry wow what a great shape no question BBS in honor of BBS live fantastic soap amazing collaboration really well done guys all right, let's wrap up the shave. Let's uh, have the uh, matching aftershave, aftershave, aftershave that I'm gonna go with right now. Which definitely takes that scent to a whole new level. Definitely brings out everything. Oh, wow. Got the lime, ginger, cardamom, everything coming through. What a fantastic shave and really a lot of good skin food in this aftershave. Feels like I have lotion on. All right, that's it guys. That's it for today. Again, thank you very much for watching to this point. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, definitely leave a comment. Really appreciate the comments and the interaction in the community. And until next time, thank you very much for joining and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Take care, bye.